good agents. I'm going to do the intro. I'm You're doing the that. intro. You're still going to intro this young you just lady. Said right I was going to intro and then you just oh start talking. Guys. Guys. I love you. All right. All right. Hey. Go ahead. Lab Code Agents, how's it going? It's Nick Baldwin. I have Tristan Amato with us. And today we have a very special guest. Her name is Catherine Rain. She's a great friend of ours. Uh, she's the number one solo agent uh, in Florida. Is it just for Keller Williams or is it all of Florida? Keller Williams. Okay, she's the number one solo agent in Florida for Keller Williams. Uh, last year, she did just shy of 50 million. She was so close. Um, and, and, and so the great thing about Catherine and what we have, uh, why we have her on today is because, you know, the world around us is changing, not just uh, the world as a whole, but in the industry for real estate. And, you know, there's a lot of people online saying, oh, this is how you shift. This is how you shift. Well, no one has really experienced a shift like this, where we actually physically can't go and show property in, in a good amount of states. And in Florida, that's one of those states. And so Catherine uh, just took it upon herself. She figured things out. And over the last couple of weeks, she's been doing um, open houses and tours through Facebook Live. And these open houses and tours have accumulated about 5,000 or more views. And she's done it 11 times for 11 properties. And guess what? She has pended four of them in just the last week. And so we're having her on today because a lot of people are saying, you can't sell a house virtually without anyone physically going inside. Well, Catherine's here to just completely debunk your limiting belief. And that's why she's here. She's going to talk to us about her strategy and how, she's, how she just sold four houses last week without showing them. Uh, so thanks for being here, Catherine. Thanks for having me. Always there for you guys. Well, we love that about you. <laughs> so, uh, Tristan, you can talk now if you want. <laughs> You're on mute. Yeah, you muted me. I thought I, thought I, I was. I thought so, I was uh, you know what? I'll just talk. Oh. Catherine, I'm just going to talk. Catherine, so <laughs> talk to us about what's going on in Florida right now in terms of the real estate market and, 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 how, and how you've just kind of pivoted. What, it, what, what made you... You know, how did you how did you figure this out? Did you just do it on your own? Did you talk to people? Like, how did you figure out how to just completely pivot at the drop of a dime and what you needed to do to keep okay. your business going? That was a lot of questions at once. So yeah, okay, hold on. And how old are you? And where do you live? <laughs> and how many kids do you have? And <laughs> do you like Nick and Lab Agents? All right, one one question. question. The question is, with what Florida is going through right okay. now, how did you figure out? what you had to do to pivot your business and still sell property. Okay, so um, we were for a few weeks non-essential. Now we're back to essential, but I didn't really pay attention to that all too much because I wanted to figure out a way to stay active. Because if you um, go with all the negative people and the negative views, you're gonna tank. So I just wanted to do something to keep myself busy and also to show my sellers that I'm not like other agents and just sitting at home and waiting for this to be over, right? I also didn't want to be the whole day on some uh, webinars, learning things, uh, unless it's about virtual open houses. <laughs> and I wanted to, to be active and do something. So I was like, okay, how can we do this simple? Because I'm not a huge tech guy like you, Nick, but I do understand technology and I'm teachable, and, but I, I'm not a techie person. So I, I figured out, okay, so how can we do this simple, okay? We need to bring people somewhere on an online platform to show them the property and uh, we need to keep it simple and use the phone because I'm not a videographer. I understand how to take good videos, but I, you know, uh, I don't know how to shoot an Academy Award winning movie. Um, so how can I keep this simple and show people the properties? So I said one night, I, it was like for six hours, I said and tried to figure it out. And I know there's many other different ways to figure that out than how I do it. But uh, the way I did it was simply I, um, I bought a web link. My web link is miami-virtual.com. And that web link, I forward that one to my Facebook Live. And then I give people specific times when my videos air or when I go to the properties. And that's basically how I do it because simplicity is, is key. And the Miami Dash Virtual was a really simple link that I, uh, that I bought through GoDaddy and I just forwarded it. 
So you have your miami-virtual.com forwarding to your business page where your videos are featured. Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when you're running ads or when you're sending out uh, mailers to specific properties, that's the web link that people can go to and and watch them uh, right. and you do it live but then they live there forever and people can always watch and then inquire through yeah they can watch it it, it, it shows past live videos and you can also premiere video videos which is a further step so I don't want you also get overwhelmed because there is several things that you can do just start with one thing and then later on you can build up on that so we basically then downloaded those videos and upload them the, the week later and premiere them. And then they show up as live videos. So I don't have to go to the property twice. It just looks like I'm there again. And while it's premiering, I'm online and I'm answering people's questions because so people Catherine, have questions. Just, just to break it down uh, so people can understand that process mm -hmm. because you did say a lot there. Mm -hmm. When you're uploading your videos to your Facebook business page, and first, yes, you do need a business page for this. Mm -hmm. So when you're uploading them into your business page and then it's uploaded, Facebook is giving you options, right? Saying, hey, yes. add a thumbnail. And that's what you've done, right? You've added the thumbnails. It's also asking, do you want to premiere this video? And if you do, when do you want to premiere it? Correct. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's what she's talking about. So I just wanted to break that down for you so you understand there is a process. It, that part is free. Now, mm -hmm. Catherine, what happens when the video premieres? Is it just one open house that you're doing? Is it two videos? What does that look like? Well, I, do, I did one day four. So I did like at 11 a.m., at 1 p.m., at 3 p.m., and it just premieres at that time on the, on the page. Okay, now. It's very simple, and I, and, and I put at the same time on the houses a, a letter because, believe it or not, some people still show up. <laughs> oh, they show put, up physically to the house? Yeah. Oh, that's so funny. And, and I put, I put a note saying, hey, um, we're, we can show the properties right now. Um, uh, please go on this web link, Miami-Virtual. It's really not that hard, right? And um, honestly, I have to tell you, ever since I'm doing this, I, I feel like it's going to be really hard to go back to real open houses because it's so time-saving. It's like 15 minutes walking through the house, and then I'm done. It's, it's really amazing. And I had, a, if you look down on one of those videos, I had 1,700 views. On the other one, I had 5,000. I have to say, the ones that have the most views, I also did some Facebook ads up front and afterwards to promote it. The ones where you just see 28, 56 views, those are just the ones that we threw out We lost her. And oh, still, oh no! Look, I had I don't know, oh, 56 there. views. I mean, do you have 56 people walk through your open house? I don't think so. Yeah, that's that's crazy, Catherine. Hey, uh, Catherine, I want to show. I actually want to show like one of the videos, if if that's cool. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Yeah. As um uh, as he's going up to show the video, Catherine, can you explain to us when you upload the videos and you do the premiere on Facebook? Mm -hmm. uh, how. How is it that you're inviting people? Are you inviting everybody that you know that's your friend on Facebook beforehand, or are you just posting it to Facebook and are you boosting it? Which so, one? Okay, so you can boost it. The ones that have those low views that you see on top, those I haven't done anything other than announce it on my site, share it with my private site, put it in my newsletter, right in my MailChimp newsletter that I'm telling people we have an open house this time this time this time and I also put on put it on the MLS oh you put it on the MLS so other agents can then see it as well yes. that's, that's an awesome part I didn't think of I, really I have to say though I, I'm not sure once this is over probably they won't let us do those kind of things anymore they, they're giving us right now an exception because it's a crisis time so once this is over, I probably have to find for the MLS part a different solution. But hey, you know, we'll find a different solution. Start with one. Yeah, I, I love that. So um, it looks like Nick is muted, but uh, I got it. For people who are asking, she just took she took up she went to GoDaddy, bought a domain name www.miami-virtual.com, 
and she linked that to her business page where the videos are featured. That's mm -hmm. it. Super simple. Yeah. Instead of like, I'll show you, let me share the page. I was sharing it before, but let's, let me walk you guys through this. So when you go to Catherine's page, um, so let's just say I go to www.miami-virtual.com. Okay, it just brings you to her uh, business page where her videos are, okay? So, um, and then they're all here. So this is what she's advertising, when she's doing her mailings, when she's doing her, vi uh, when she's doing her, um, her Facebook uh, campaigns. Everything leads back to uh, to this page, and then it's, it's instead of doing Facebook.com slash Beautiful Miami Realtor Realty slash Live. You know what I mean? You yeah. can link a domain name to any. You can give a custom domain to, to any page on Facebook. It doesn't matter if it's a Facebook business page. And so these are all her virtual open houses. Obviously, th these are the most recent. And then down here, there's one. That had from March 29th. Did you promote this one with five and a half, five point two thousand views? I boosted that one. I spent ten dollars. Okay, so you boosted that one. Which is the one that you penned it? Any of these specifically? Yes, I penned it um, the Osorio. You see the nine fifteen Osorio. Right here? This yes. one. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, so, uh, the sixty two hundred yep. Alton Road. You see that one. That one was for sale and a client of mine called oh, me one? asking if we would rent it. And the owner said, okay, so I got both sides of the rental. It was like $8,500. Wow, so nice. It worked out great. Okay. And uh, yeah. I would like to show one of these. Let's show, let's show this one. I'm not gonna show, yeah, actually. Yeah, the Osorio is a good one to show. Show that this one. one? No, the Osorio, 915 Osorio. So this one, it's, a, it's yeah. long. I just wanna show a couple, I just wanna show a minute of it so people can, Get a, get a sense of what you're doing. Yeah, it's like what you have to remember okay. is to be authentic. Let's start this. Let's see if a little, if a few more people are going to join us in a little bit. So today we're doing virtual open houses. By the way, here's all the engagement over here, guys. We're at property number one in Core Gables. So it's important to understand that when people are engaging with you, Osorio Avenue, to either talk to them. And how are you all doing? or houses. comment later. What are you doing all day? Are you learning any new hobbies? Are you like talking to See, I'm family? talking to the people. I'm very engaged. Yeah, so you're walking through the house. You have your dining. But the pink bathrooms are back. So <laughs> here is it. Oh, doesn't even have a thread. So you pended this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. That's awesome. Cool. Yeah, just just like walk through and 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 have fun and engage people. Mm -hmm. You know? So So when you're um, someone's asking how do you capture contact info? Are you you're talking to people as they're talking to you, right. but are people reaching then reaching out to you? Is it more organic or are you capturing their contact info? It's very organic, but I also run some Facebook ads up front um, announcing the open houses where I capture the information. To be honest with you, um, I, I do the Facebook ads, but the, the best return for me is the organic people that reach out to me or clients of clients that saw it or, or, or clients that send it to their friends or um, the organic has been like really impressive, which I never expected. And um, one thing that you really also have to keep in mind when doing all this is you're the positive source in your neighborhood you're, you're the mayor of your of your community and if you're the negative nancy that's running around saying uh oh what's happening to the market this is so terrible then people are not buying and selling so i, I the reason i also did this is to show people like things are still moving things are moving forward people are still buying and selling there is people that need to move and uh, i've gotten a great response especially for my clients they were like oh we didn't know that you're still selling we thought nothing is is happening right now and i'm like no actually there is a lot of properties that came on the market and um, i'm doing now once a week also a market update with the properties that come on the market the properties that become pending and the properties that sell just to show people something positive because if you're not the positive person who is it for them
Yeah, Catherine, that's a good point. Now, when it comes to the videos, are you going to every single property and doing a walkthrough on it, or do you ever use some of the videos that you've already pre-recorded? Uh, on on a few properties, I used a pre-recorded one. Obviously, then it has to be the premiere version of Facebook. I just don't want to make it too complicated for people that want to start out. So my suggestion is go to your vacant properties and do a live video. What I, uh, what I talked with Nick about on our last um, webinar was I find it very important to just have three tools, a little portable microphone, a selfie stick. It doesn't need to be one of those high-end gimbals. Uh, I use a simple one, although I have the fancy one, but I don't know how it works. <laughs> and it just freaks me out that it, the battery's empty and all this. So just use a simple selfie stick, a microphone, and, and I have sometimes also a selfie light if you want that. And um, just speak very clear and go super slow. No matter how slow you go, it will be too fast anyway for the human eye to follow. And just do the videos on your vacant properties. And then and here's one thing a lot of people ask me, how do you do it if you have no listings? Very simple. You call the lazy agents that don't want to go out, that have the listings, and you ask them if you can feature their listings. I've had actually three people that ask me if they can uh, feature my listings. Unfortunately, I, I don't let other people feature my listings, but if I was a lazy agent, I would say, here, okay, go. There's so many people that don't want to go out and don't want to do anything. Um, just, you know, go in a vacant home and do it. I mean, I don't recommend it in an occupied property. Look, because of everything are, you are you saying you should call Tristan? They're not allowed to get a property, <laughs> even, if, even if they're vacant. So what I suggest is you grab the videos that are already made or virtual tours that are already made and use those as a walk. All you need is permission. So stop putting these blocks on yourself mm -hmm. and find hey guys something. can i show you something about that real quick i just want to show you a really quick example uh it's not what catherine did but i think it'll it'll help people understand what what they can and cannot do can do you mind if i show you something really quick no. is that okay i okay. can't mind nick okay I, watch I this for right people now. saying we can't physically go into homes i just want to show you an agent in my market center here in Michigan, her name is Patty Gilman. This is what she did on Facebook. Hi everybody, um, this is Patty Gilman with Keller Williams. And She's over here and her seller is over here and they're both on uh, Zoom. Is going to oh be nice. Walk of people house. through the, the house. house. Well, he's got the, the phone and she's at her office. And it's beautiful. So don't let these you things stand in your way, guys. Like, this, be, be creative. Well. Get your seller to jump on Zoom with their phone or iPad and walk you through the house. Like, the only one standing in your way is yourself. This is the way to do it. Yeah. Very true, Nick. All right. That's all I wanted to show you. That's all. It's very easy to do and people will be. This is really great. This is the new way. This is not going to change. So right now in your head, if you're not doing this or if you're not thinking outside the box, this is not going to change. In Michigan, we're third in, uh, in America for cases. We're almost at 25,000 cases for COVID. If they lifted shelter in place tomorrow, it doesn't mean that we're going, it doesn't mean that people are going to let people walk in and out of their house. It doesn't mean yeah. that. So you better figure out how to do this and get your sellers on board. So. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, it's a, it's a, um, I feel it's a, a mindset thing. Uh, it, first of all, you have to convince yourself that it's doable because we all have those limiting beliefs that we have to show in person, we have to be there. Uh, but you can, um, I had a really great quote the other day that I posted. It was in the thing that you posted, Nick. Um, it was about um, we, uh, we deny change until there's no other way than to accept it. So now there is a huge opportunity, guys, huge opportunity. I see this as an amazing opportunity for everyone to get their virtual game on, because once this is over, we could potentially continue that. I mean, how amazing is that, that to tell buyers they can sit on their couch and look at a property? I mean, they don't have to do anything. They don't have to drive there. I mean, it's, I, there is so much opportunity out there, and I, I find it very fascinating. I actually, I actually love 
um, to do all this virtual stuff. If it wasn't for the sad reason we are all locked inside and can't do much, I would really um, be super happy about the situation. I love by it. the way, I just want to let you guys know that there are ways to do this with buyers too, right? So the example I showed you, and Catherine, uh, I think, is doing this too. You can schedule buyers like this. See, Gus is here. See, he just showed up. You can schedule buyer appointments in groups. Like, let's say you have five or six people that want to see a house, and you don't want your seller to have to do it five or six times over the course of a week. Schedule a time block and get five or six buyers on Zoom and have your seller walk through the house just like that. So you, so you, so you consolidate it and make it easier for everybody involved. This is working, man. It's working. Yeah. I agree now, with there's you. There's a couple of questions here. How far in advance do you promote your open house, your virtual open houses? It really depends. Sometimes, I mean, yeah. today is Friday. I haven't done anything for this weekend. Mm -hmm. um, I probably will tell my virtual assistant to set it up. Normally, I do Monday for the weekend to give it enough time. Mm -hmm. I had a lot going on this, this week on webinars and stuff, so I didn't have time to set it up. Okay. But then I did do also did some on Tuesday and I set them up on, no, I did some on Thursday to set it up on Tuesday. I mean, I would say the earlier the better. I would say at mm -hmm. least five days in advance. But again, don't let this be uh, an excuse not to do it, right? You don't, I feel like a lot of times we are watching webinars, we are watching instructions and never do anything. You know what I mean? Yeah. And we see that as an excuse that we don't know how to do it in order not to do it. And I would just um, really encourage you to just try it out. It's really not that hard. Even if you don't have the microphone and you don't have the selfie stick, there's one of, one, uh, of my videos, the 4323 North Bay, uh, that was actually done by, by a colleague of mine and she didn't have a selfie stick. She didn't have a microphone and she did still did a fantastic job. I mean, that video had so many views and she did it for the first time. She was kind of nervous. She's like, Catherine, you're kind of throwing me in there. And after she was done, she said to me, Catherine, I really want to thank you so much for pushing me to do it because I would have never done it without you pushing me for it. And she's like, I learned so much. And the video is fantastic and she was great. And I'm, I'm pretty sure she will continue doing it. And she had no experience doing that before. So, you know, anybody can do it. That's a great point. I wanted to share a screenshot, a screenshot of what Facebook shared with us three days ago here. And this is, this is their open house live. So if you want to take a snapshot of that, you can refer back to it later. This is a little bit different than what Catherine is doing only at the beginning part. And that's because they're saying, look, you can do the premiere, which is awesome, Catherine, but there's also another option, which is create an event out of it. Mm. And when you create an event out of it, you can then invite as many people as you want. And then you can have people that are there also invite as many people as you want. So limit is 500 per person. But when you're going live, like number two says live open house, you have to go live from the event page. And a lot of people were going live from their personal page. Yeah. So uh, then once it's done and you're finished, what you can do after is you can do watch parties. You can play it again. You can send it to people who wanted to take a look at the home. Uh, there's a lot of things that you can do, but those are the two options that we've seen on Facebook. And some people are saying, well, why Facebook? Look, if your audience is on Instagram, do it on Instagram. If your audience is on YouTube, do it on YouTube. Most of our audiences are on Facebook. And so- Well, here's how you, sorry. Go ahead, Go ahead. Go ahead dude. I didn't want to lose my thought. You know how I am. Yeah, I here's how you figure out where your, audience, where your audience is, okay? Like, so if I'm listing a house that's like $150,000, um, and it's a starter home, my audience is probably going to be on Instagram. If I'm listing a house that's half a million or a million and it's not a starter home typically, my audience is gonna be on Facebook. So, because mm -hmm. that's the demographic. So just know where your audience is for that specific house and that specific neighborhood and that's where you broadcast it. And I know Jesse Bedoin is, I always pronounce his name wrong. Boudouin. Jesse from Fall Action. Boudouin. Jesse, I know if you're watching, you know, confirm that I'm right because he loves that stuff. Because I said I'm not joining TikTok. He's like, good idea. And he sent me all the demographics on TikTok and it's like 12. 
<laughs> well, you, you would be surprised, Nick, though. I had once... Um, There's I, older people on TikTok. For the most part, it's not, though. Yeah. For the most part, it's not. But I had once a teenager tell her mom about a house I featured on... What was the other app? I don't even have it anymore. There was this Which other one? video app. Um, Periscope? Was oh, that Periscope. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Is that even a thing anymore? I don't, I don't have it anymore, even, but I that was on a house Twitter. On there. Well, and that was before Insta, that Facebook Live. It was on Twitter, and then and then Facebook Live took over. So I've, I've had a teenager re tell the mom about the house, and they bought the house. So, but that yeah. was like that was like a unicorn. Yeah. So, yeah. for That's the cool. most part, your audience will mostly be on on Facebook. But by by chance, if you have like a home that you think would appeal to twenty five somethings. Um, then you might want to do it on Insta. So. So, yeah, good point. Katie is asking a question here. Mm -hmm. Is Facebook suggesting using events within our business page? Yes. Uh, Facebook is suggesting that here. Let me let me see if I can show you really quick as quick as to why. I'm gonna take I a, love that by the way, something new I've learned today. Yeah, I'm gonna show you something else really quick. Uh, if we haven't done it for one of our I'm going to go to the lab code agents business page and I'm going to go to one of our last webinars. Unfortunately, zoom hasn't been working to connect to our business page over the last 48 hours. So the last one we did might already have this, but let me check. Um, all right, good. So let's see I, we shot this live through zoom and on Facebook or just live through Facebook through our business page as an event. That's what the you do is, once it's done, you'd click on the little three buttons and you click on edit and then edit post. It takes you to the back screen here. And the cool thing is all you have, you can change the title if you want. Great. But the cool thing is this subtitles and captions. You click that, you would click English, change, choose the language to English and save. Now in the in a split second, as soon as this goes, now this is gonna have captioning and it's, uh, it happens instantly. So what you wanna do, this is why you wanna use your business page so that it has the captioning. And now most of ours, when we do this, when we're done, uh, we go through our business page for that reason alone. So people are asking me why events through business page, that's why obviously you can put money behind it. That's awesome. Uh, but. Going back to what Catherine said, she uses Facebook primarily because that's where most of her audience is. Look, you can also do it in Snapchat. You can do it anywhere you want as long as you have an audience there and people will, will collect around you to do that. So uh, Catherine, anything else you want to add? We're probably going to break it down, what you mm -hmm. said, and kind of uh, redo like a, a tutorial video for everybody okay. and help right. them out. But anything that you wanted to add that we may have missed? I don't think we've missed anything. I just, uh, like I said earlier, I think the most important thing is to get up and do it and just try it out and play around with it. If I can do it, you can do it too. Because I'm not Nick taggy wise. <laughs> I think we should yeah. honestly, Nick, you know what would be great if we could brainstorm one day on how to use my approach and combine it with your tech approach because I think we could make a really good tutorial out of this. Well, Catherine, if you if you can do this and and you're not the most techiest, then I, then everyone can do this. Let yeah. me just tell everyone. Yesterday, because a couple of people in the comments over here on Zoom were commenting. Yesterday, I did I did a Passover. We did Passover via Zoom, right? And my no joke, my grandmother's a hundred years old, a hundred, one hundred right she's a she's a century old and she was on zoom at her house she lives by herself she's 100 years old and she was on zoom so if you think that uh you're not techie or you think that your clients aren't techie or they're not using this type of stuff just keep in mind my 100 year old grandma she logged on to zoom and had passover with us so don't underestimate yourself and don't underestimate your potential clients because technology is universal. Everyone from one to a hundred. My kid over here, Gus, he knows that he's playing a game on my iPhone. He knows that he's my iPhone better than me and he's four. So 
Don't, yeah. don't underestimate yourself and don't underestimate your clients by saying, my clients, they don't know, or I'm not techie. You can figure it out because Catherine did. So. And if you, if you need sometimes um, extra uh, statistics to show your sellers that properties in this market still sell, I would show them the properties that went pending last week. Pull the stats yeah. from the MLS, show them, hey, 600 went active, 300 went pending people are still buying there's buyers out there so maybe you can convince the sellers to list now versus once all of this is over because there's going to be a lot of properties flooded on the market afterwards and uh, a lot of buyers are going to be running through the house first now they can have a selective number of buyers and uh, only the highly motivated because who's buying right now only the super motivated so if you have um if you have some mindset uh, objections from your sellers, use those stats to show them that there's, because stats don't lie. Yeah. Hey, somebody asked a question, Sheila, can you Facebook live with a 360 degree camera? Yes. Uh, there are cameras. Rico makes one that's 360 and it will connect to your phone via Bluetooth and you can stream that to Facebook for a full like immersive experience. So definitely look into that too. And they're not expensive. They're like a hundred bucks. Oh. Yeah, they're good. Yeah, the Theta S is also is the one that you're talking about. Oh, the Theta, that's the one by Rico, the Rico Theta, yeah. That's the one. And then a couple of things here. That One thing that Catherine said is, is right on, which is once this is over, people are going to start putting their homes on the market a lot more because they're home right now and they're realizing that they either hate their homes and they <laughs> were not in them or you know, they're loving their homes and they want to remodel. But... It, one of the two is going to happen a lot more of you and guys I'm putting a zoom tutorial on that I shot last week on going live and then doing watch parties just take a look at it because a lot of your questions will be answered there mm -hmm. and either Nick or I are going to do one a tutorial based on what Catherine uh, just went through so we can kind of break it down step by step and and show you other things so anything else I missed, Catherine, that you want to touch on as we close here? I think, I think we're good. I mean, if anybody has a question, just, you know, post it on lab code, I guess, right? And then yep. we'll go from there. Guys, I remember yeah. this is recorded. Usually it lives in our Facebook business page, but Zoom uh, is not allowing us to do that right now. So it's on our Facebook group right now and we are recording this and it is going to be posted to our lab code agents youtube page just give it three or four days and then we'll upload it on there yeah also we'll keep this pinned to the top of the group for the remainder of the day uh so you guys can go up there they're under announcements usually there's more than one announcement so you just got to click on announcements and you'll see them um but yeah so i think like basically we're basically you know the moral of this webinar is a lot of agents are standing in their own way, right? Because they think that real estate's coming to a screeching halt. Yes, nationally, like listing inventory is down. I read it's down 27%. Uh, and the Wall Street Journal said yesterday, listing inventory is down 27% across the country. But it doesn't mean that people still aren't buying homes. And I think a lot of the reason why listing inventory is down is because agents think that um, they can't list a home. You know, like yeah. we're gonna have Nikki Klein on uh in the next week or so she listed 11 properties um in a, a couple weeks ago and never set foot in one of them you know ken posick in orlando florida just just listed four properties this past week never set foot in them so listings are down because agents aren't thinking outside the box in terms of how they should be presenting these homes and getting them on the market but if you're thinking outside the box like Catherine and you're following instructions and you're doing your research, anything you want to know can be found on YouTube and Google and in this mm -hmm. group. And you can yeah, do it. Yeah, if you want to, you just have to keep the basic structure in mind. What we basically said, you need to find a platform where you can live stream the videos and then bring the people on that platform. It's, it's very simple and uh, very easy to do. And by the way, I found the, the exact quote that I had posted. It's uh, oh, good. We always resist change until there's no other way than to accept it. I love that. I love that. Catherine, what areas do you cover just in case anyone has any referrals for you? Your, your um, I cover Miami, Miami yeah. and the beaches. Love it. So if <laughs> you have any South referrals Florida. for Catherine, send them out. She's all of all of Southern Miami there, Southern Florida, just the whole tip mm -hmm. of the bottom, all the beaches. Yes. 
Thanks for being on. I appreciate it, guys. Thanks remember for the having me. Have a great day. If anybody has questions, let me know, okay? And we have another webinar at 11 a.m. Pacific. We're interviewing the CEO of Century 21 on how they're pivoting. So I put the link up there. If you want, grab it and register. Thanks, Catherine. Thanks for having me. Bye. Bye.